In this converted Navy facility near the San Diego airport, thoughtfully applied technology is transforming public education. We're going to want to focus on the advertising throughout the school. Oh. They're doing things, they're producing things. So the purpose of tech in High Tech High is not for consumption, it's for production. A former high school carpentry teacher with a law degree, Larry Rosenstock, became founding principal and CEO of High Tech High in 1998. I tell our visitors who come here, stop any child that you want, grades 6 through 12, at random, and ask them what they're working on and watch what happens. They'll look you in the eye and they'll talk to you about what they're working on. So what we're going to do in this class is we're going to make a, a movie or like a documentary on everything we learned. So we're learning about physiology, but we're also learning about like After Effects, which makes like videos and stuff. So we bring them together. High Tech's 2,500 students gain entrance by lottery and represent a cross-section of San Diego's public school population. Okay, trace it out. And whether they choose to focus on the arts or sciences, all of them are engaged in rigorous yeah, projects. Yeah. And one thing we want to be careful of is that we don't add your DNA to these samples and you come out in the end with your DNA barcode. In an 11th grade biology class, students are developing a DNA barcoding process that will help African law enforcement officials convict poachers. These are photos that I got last week from one of our collaborators in Nairobi. This is in Eland. I know everyone's really serious about it because it's a serious issue, but this is really a lot more fun than you'd be able to do in any other classroom. A lot of people donate stuff right, just because we're like, a nonprofit. Right, right. Whenever possible, projects are designed to serve the local community, whether it's creating a storage system for the YMCA, we have a new storage facility, that right. we could actually take this out, right. or designing an assistive technology device. She used it for the first time and moved that bar up and down the paper for the first time herself. Her eyes just lit up. It was the first time she'd been able to do something on her own. And it was just, the, the students were tremendously touched. I was touched. It was just a really amazing experience. What's going on here? That's a fat that builds up. Instead of grades on high stakes tests at the end of the year, students are assessed on an ongoing basis. Well, assessment is not an end point. It's not an end activity. It's something that goes on moment to moment. So teachers are always checking for kids' understanding and so forth, and we're always asking kids to, in a lot of different contexts, to kind of describe what it is they're working on, what it is they've discovered, what their plan is for the next day, and so on. So assessment is folded in. Good work, guys. All right, thank you. They are also judged on their individual digital portfolios and their stand and deliver presentations of learning. I will start this presentation of learning today with math and physics, followed by Spanish 1 and finishing off with humanities. Instead of taking finals at our school, we do POLs, which is a presentation of learning, where we get up in front of the whole class and, and the teachers and a whole panel of people and tell them exactly like what we learned this year, how it can be applied to the real life, and how you've developed in critical thinking or developed in other things. Students are also assessed on their contributions to group projects, like books on the ecology of San Diego Bay. These are really high quality efforts by kids, as opposed to memorizing 3,000 biology words to prepare for the AP exam. We want kids behaving like scientists and behaving like photographers and behaving like graphic artists. The high-tech model is working. Point one, which is, is that line? The original five. high school has grown into a network of eight public charter schools. And maybe you could put that same kind of text here, here, and there. And 100% of high-tech high graduates are accepted to college. I really believe in this place. I, I, I've been here since the beginning, and I think it's, it, it is absolutely the true way to learn. And the brown is fine in the background? Yeah, the brown is fine, as long as you put those words in. Okay, okay. Okay. For more information on what works in public education, go to edutopia.org.